Hi, my name is Sean Lowry. I'm from Brown Summit, North Carolina. I am no diggity farm and I'm a specialty produce grower. When I was 13, I started as a dishwasher, baking breads, making desserts. I did two years of culinary classes in high school. And then I decided to go to Lake Cordon Blue, Atlanta. And then I just started working my way up in different restaurants, different areas. I've always wanted to work in Michelin star restaurants, so that was my main goal going into Chicago. I read a book called The Third Plate, and it really focuses on like the soil and the microbiology, and then in turn makes the vegetables taste better because they get more nutrients and all that. So then I got into growing, and then like once 2020 hit and COVID hit, I was just like, I'm done. They started rioting on the street I lived on in Chicago, so. I just moved and came here and decided I was just going to start a farm. I basically had the COVID pay that they gave us and that's what I used to survive off of and start everything on the farm. Coming from being a chef, you know, everything looks better when it's, a, you know, colorful. I just try to do the unique things that people don't normally see, like purple carrots, I have black carrots, red carrots, white, yellow, different kinds of tomatoes. I've got purple kale, red Russian kale. I grow white beets. Nobody's ever really seen white beets before. I grow mushrooms on logs. They usually do sawdust. I feel like that's a lot more wasteful than doing them on logs because I can do them on logs and then they'll last me five to seven years depending on the diameter of the log. I get my compost from the landfill, which they take everybody's leaves, their wood, their limbs, and they grind it up and make it into compost. And I get that for $20 a ton, which is pretty cheap. I do a compost service um, at the farmer's market. So I'll take that, their food scraps, and mix them with wood chips, you know, other uh, waste from the garden. We're a no-till, so that sets us apart from a lot of people. And it's, it is a lot harder to do. I do everything with hand tools. I just got a tilther, which is like a tiller, but it only tills two inches of the soil just to prep the seed beds. But other than that, it's pretty much all hand tools, manpower. I still spend 12 to 14 hours a day sometimes, but it's just like I'm working for me, not for somebody else's dream, you know what I mean?